Hi there, uh, this is Mustafa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Butterfly on Grasshopper. I assume you already watched the other two videos, how to get uh, Open Phone for Windows uh, installed and what is Butterfly. If you haven't, please go back and watch them because if you don't have Open Phone installed, then installing Butterfly uh, won't really help, it won't work. So, if you want to install Butterfly for Grasshopper, you need to Go to Foot for Rhino and then go to Ladybug Tools. It's uh, now part of the featured app, but even if it's not, it's you can find it in Grasshopper Apps or you can search here uh, for Ladybug Tools or you can search for Butterfly. That should both work. And then this will come up here that you can click on. When you click, it will take you here. And then you can find Butterfly, and this is the latest, which is the first public version that uh, is released. You go here and click on download, and then it downloads a zip file on your machine. I already have the file, so I'm not going to download this, but for you, you just click here, you download and save it. And once you save the file, you will have a zip file like this, butterfly0004.zip. The first thing that you need to do is to extract this file and there is a folder and copy that folder to some place. So I just extract it by copying here. And then if you go inside the file or folder, uh, there are four folders, one grasshopper file and one license. The folders, uh, except for example files, are the folders that has libraries and user objects that needs to be installed. Example files is a list of example files that you can test. And license is the license uh, for Butterfly. And finally, installer is the file that we need to use to install uh, Butterfly. So basically, the installer for Butterfly is a grasshopper definition. To run the grasshopper file, I need to open Rhino. If you want to install Butterfly and use it at the same time for the first time, then uh, you want to run it as an administrator because that's what you need if you want to run Butterfly. Uh, but if you don't, you can just open Rhino as normal and install it. Again, you can install it, but you can't run an analysis if you're not an administrator. Or you don't run Rhino as an administrator. Okay, we're here. I don't know why I did that. You don't need to do that. It's just just type grasshopper up here, open grasshopper, and then go and open the file. Install it. So the installer file is this component that tells you it will um, install butterfly here. And so all, all the Grasshopper components will have access to the Butterfly libraries. And it just says you can download everything from Food for Rhino and set this to true. So all you need, you need to come here and double click. One thing to mention is, I assume you're already Ladybug and Honeybee users, so you have GH Python installed. If you don't, then you have to go to Food for Rhino and Search for ghpython and install ghpython. Uh, you need to be able, you, you need you need this uh, to be installed before opening this, in, this installer file. Otherwise, it won't work because this component is actually a ghpython component, as you know. Okay, assuming everything is correct, you just double click. And done. It's copied all the file, and everything should be fine. Uh, you can check if you didn't have butterfly. Now you will have a B for butterfly, and and if you are using in a text mode, so this is how it will look like. So you will have a butterfly tab. There are all the components here. It looks good. Some of them are missing, and the reason they're missing is because they're not loaded correctly. So to make them to be loaded correctly, and I go back to icons because that takes less space. 
just close Grasshopper, come here and type uh, Grasshopper Unload Plugin, which basically unloads the Grasshopper plugin, and then type Grasshopper again. And now it just loaded Grasshopper again, and all the butterfly components should be here. Uh, to make sure it works fine, you can just bring this component, which is the one that you can use to update the installation later, and check. Yes, so it imported butterfly from here. The version is 4, and this is the date that's last updated. Everything looks good. You should be good to start using butterfly, which in the next video I will show you how to use uh, butterfly to set up an outdoor uh, airflow study. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.